The new feature that we're going to be looking at now is here on the job screen. And this new feature is all about how we can change pieces of information, details about the job. Now, if I wanted to change something in this display and dashboard column, I could go to details, change the parameter that I want to a yes, close details, and now I see a yes. But if I wanted to change them all, I can now use range edit to change them all at one time. And after I click apply, there they are. All of them are now changed. The entire column is now a yes. And that is the new tool that allows you to save time by changing large groups in a range edit here in the job screen. Now this next feature that we're going to look at here is on the takeoff screen. Now this feature is specifically designed to make it quicker and easier to build large numbers of assemblies if those assemblies are containing similar materials. Now the scenario that I have set up in front of us is I need to build these 10 assemblies and they all need to contain this duplex 20 amp standard receptacle. Now the old way I can go one at a time or one byproduct at a time but now let's see this new tool in action and see how quick it is. I'm just going to right click range edit byproducts. I'm going to define my range. I want to make this an assembly. I've already got this assembly highlighted. Then I'm going to add it and I'm going to say OK. Now you can see that that one assembly has been added with just a few clicks to each one of these. Now this tool is going to make it really quick and really easy to add an assembly as a whole to a large number of assemblies that you are building. This should make it a lot easier to manipulate large numbers of assemblies. Now the next new feature that we're going to look at today is here in the takeoff screen and it has to do with sharing workspaces. Now we all know how great workspaces can be, but what if your coworker has some workspaces that they've created and you want to use them? Well, with this new feature, it is incredibly easy. Right now we're looking at Tommy. Tommy, the current user logged in as we see up here, we're looking at his workspaces right now. You can see he's got five pages. Now, if he wants to use another user's workspaces, all he's got to do is click on the drop down menu, choose the user that he wants to see, and now he can use any of these pages, any of these buttons, and be able to use his coworkers' settings without using the configuration tool to copy them. It's a huge time saver. Now, it's important to notice this user cannot change someone else's workspaces. They can only view them and use them. Now, with this new tool, we have made a very, very productive, very robust tool even more so. The next new feature that we're going to talk about is here on the takeoff screen. Specifically, it's in the audit trail. Now, what we have done is add a feature to this audit trail, which makes math a lot easier specifically the math for the specific byproducts inside of an assembly. For example, right here, I have 1200 of this assembly right here. If I click on that symbol next to the A, it's gonna tell me the quantity of each byproduct inside of one of these assemblies. But it also is now going to show me a total column. So this total column is the product of this adjusted quantity multiplied by these quantities here. So this new feature is doing the math for you. When you click on a line item, you can see the quantity of these byproducts inside of one of these assemblies, and you can see the total based on what your adjusted quantity is. This new feature does a lot of math for you. The next new feature that we're going to talk about today is here in the bid summary screen. Now, this new feature is going to allow us to add 
a specific cost code and a labor hour value to any of these individual line item expenses that we're going to add using the tabs on the screen. For example, equipment rental. First thing you'll notice, two new tabs, cost code and labor hours. Now, let's see how this is gonna work. I know I'm going to rent a lift for $1,250. I also know that it's going to consume 16 hours of my guy's time to run this piece of equipment. And we're using it for branch rough. Now I have the ability to add to any of my equipment rentals, any of my subcontractors, any quotes or any direct job expenses I now have the ability to add a individual cost code and specific labor hours that pertain to that task or piece of equipment. This should make accounting a lot easier and a little more robust for you.